Hello everyone, welcome back to Sermon ICT Prep. Today we are tackling chapter 13 of the College Panda Math Book, which is Interpreting Linear Models. Let's go to the exercise. Question 1, the water level H in feet in a large aquarium can be modeled by H is equal to 100 minus 3D, where D is the number of days that have passed since the aquarium has, was last refilled. Based on the model, how does the water level change each day? So we know that the slope here is negative 3. So we know that it decreases 3 feet per day. So the answer should be A. The number of loaves of bread B remaining in a bakery each day can be estimated by the equation B is equal to 200 minus 18H, where H is the number of hours that have passed since the store's opening. What is the value of 18 in this equation? So we know here, again, we know that the slope here is negative 18, and this is because there's a variable attached to the number 18. So it means that it's decreasing by 18 which, uh, each hour. Since it's decreasing by 18 from the store, it means that the bakery is selling them for 18. Selling 18 lows each hour, so the answer is B. Moving on to question 3, a membership website offers video tutorials on programming. The number of members M subscribed to the site can be estimated by the equation M is equal to 500 plus 200N, where N is the number of videos available on the site. Based on the equation, which of the following statements is true? Okay, so we know that the y-intercept here, 500, it means that when n is equal to 0, or when there are no videos on the site, there will still be 500 members because this, this, uh, this y-intercept does not change according to n. So the answer should be C. A recipe suggests sweetening honey tea with sugar. The equation above can be used to determine the amount of sugar S in teaspoons that should be added to a tea beverage with H teaspoons of honey. What is the meaning of the 2 in the equation? So we know that here, again, negative 2 here, it refers to the slope because there's a variable attached to it. And this means that there are two fewer teaspoons of sugar that should be added for every teaspoon of honey that is already in the beverage, okay? So the slope is always the change in y for each unit increase in x. So the answer should be b. Moving on to question 5, the monthly salary of a salesperson at a used car dealership is determined by the expression 1000 plus 2000 xc, where x is the sales salesperson's commission rate and c is the number of cars sold by the salesperson. Which of the following statements is the best interpretation of the number 2000 in the context of this problem? So you know that the salesperson must is earning a commission, right? But what is it based on? It's actually based on the amount of money that he, the salesperson, is bringing in for profit. And in order to get that, we, all we need to do is to multiply the number of cars sold by the average price of each car. And since, since we know that X and C are already, repre already represent the commission rate and the number of cars sold, thus the number 2000 should be the average price of each car, which is A. Question 6. A state government uses the equation above to estimate the average population P for a town with S schools. Which of the following best describes the meaning of 2000 in the equation? The number 2000 here again refers to the slope, and this means that it should be increasing by 2000 for each additional school in the town, so the answer is A. Oh, so the answer is C. The equation above can be used to model the number of hours H until a gallon of milk held at a temperature of T in degrees Celsius goes sour. Based on the model, which of the following is the best interpretation of the number 4 in the equation? So, the number 4 again refers to the slope, and in this case it's negative 4, which means an increase of 1 degree would decrease the number of hours until a gallon of milk goes sour by 4, which means that the milk goes sour uh, four, hours late, 4 hours faster. So the answer here should be A. An antique lamp was sold at an auction. The price P of the lamp in dollars during the auction can be modeled by the equation P is equal to 900 minus 10 T, where T is the number of seconds left in the auction. According to the model, what is the me meaning of the 900 in the equation? Okay, so when T is zero, this means that there's no time left in the auction and that the auction is already done. Therefore, the final auction price of the lamp should be 900. So the answer here should be B. Question 9. A bank teller uses the equation above to exchange US dollars into euros, where Y is the euro amount and X is the dollar amount. Which of the following is the best interpretation of 1.5 in the equation? Since the slope is 1.3, it can be thought as like an exchange rate, so like converting the dollars into euros. But after the conversion, we can see that 1.5 is subtracted away. 
which means that you should you are getting 1.5 euros less than what you actually should have been getting right so the best interpretation should be the, the 1.5 is like the deduction or the fee that the bank charges for you for the conversion so the answer is a okay question 10 the equation above models the time t in seconds it takes to load a web page with x images based on the model by how many seconds does each image increase the load time of a web page so to see the more ans answer more clearly what we can do is we can we can uh, rewrite the equation in the slope intercept form which is y is equal to mx plus b and by doing this we get t is equal to 2 over 5x plus 9 over 5 so the slope here is 2 over 5 which is which is also 0 0.4 thus it increases by 0 0.4 for each image on the web page. Question 11, 13 refer to the following information, which is the graph, the relationship between daily profit of a bakery and the number of cakes sold by the bakery. Okay, what does the slope of the line represent? So we know that the slope of the line is like the change in Y for X. So it's the change in daily profit over cakes sold. So the answer should be B. Okay, which of the following is the best interpretation of the y-intercept in the context of this problem? And we, we can see here that the y-intercept is negative, okay? So it's the bakery's profit when no cakes are sold. Therefore, they're losing money when no cakes are sold, right? So anything that has to do with the number of cakes sold should be incorrect. So D is incorrect because it's the cost of the cakes uh, does not depend on how many ba how many the bakery how many cakes the bakeries did sell right so the answer here should be c because it's the y the y intercept is the cost of running the bakery which which leads to when uh no cakes are sold right so the answer is c question 13 what does it mean that phi zero is a solution to the equation of the line so a solution any solution means that the bakery's daily profit is at a certain number when a certain number of cakes are sold. In this case, we know that X is the number of cakes sold. And so when the daily profit is zero, it means that the store is selling five cakes. So the answer is eight. To warm up his room, Patrick turns on the heater. The temperature T of his room in degrees Fahrenheit can be modeled by the equation above, where H is the number of hours since the heater started running. Based on the model, what is the temperature increase in Fahrenheit for every three minutes the heater is turned on? So here, we know that the slope of the equation is 5, right? So it means that the temperature must go up by 5 every hour, 5 degrees every hour. So every half an hour, the temperature should be going up by 2.5, right? So the answer is 2.5. Alice owns a pet frog, but would like to add turtles to the same tank. The local veterinarian, uh, veterinarian uses the equation above to determine the total amount of water y in gallons that should be held in the tank for x turtles to drive alongside Alice's frog based on the equation which is the following must be true okay number one one additional gallon of water can support two more turtles one additional turtle requires two more gallons of water and one more turtle requires an additional half a gallon of water so what we can do here is again rewrite the equation into the slope intercept form which is y is equal to mx plus b and by doing that we get y is equal to 1 over 2x plus 7 and we know here that the slope here means a one more turtle will require half a gallon of water right so the answer for so the claim of three is correct and getting x in terms of y we get x is equal to 2y minus 14 and we know here that the slope of two means that one more gallon of water can support two more turtles right so the so uh number one is true as well so one and three are true so the answer is d moving on to the last question a local post office uses the equation above to determine the cost C in dollars of mailing a, ship a shipment weighing X pounds. An increase of $10 in the mailing cost is equivalent to an increase of how many pounds in the weight of the shipment. So here, the question is asking for the change in X per change in Y, right? So that is the reverse of this slope. So what we can do here is to rearrange the equation like we've been doing before in terms of C to get X. So C is equal to 1.5 plus 2.5X. And what we can do here is we can divide each element by 2.5. Then we get 0.4c is equal to 0.6 plus x. So x is equal to 0.4c, ne negative 0.6. And here we can see that the slope here is 
So this means that the weight of the shipment increases by 0.4 pounds per dollar. So a $10 increase in the mailing cost should result in a 4 pound increase. Uh, yeah, 4 pound increase in the weight of the shipment. So the answer is C. That will be all for today and thank you very much for watching.